so welcome back guys in the last video we uh, created a user profile page and uh, we actually did a little bit of uh, coding uh, which we update the user profile but um, the success message wasn't showing and that's not just the only um, error I noticed uh, you notice if you if you on this page is not showing uh, this comrade is not showing uh, the user is not showing the current page uh, and the page title is not showing so I'm just going to fix that real quick and to do that I need to go back to the admin layout page and right here um, Let's see. Uh, let's face this first. The title. Uh, I want to use the title right there because the title changes from page to page. And I want to say yield. I want to use a title. And uh, the next thing I want to do is. I want to come over to the own page. Uh, the Combread page in uh, Combread. I can't find it. I think, yeah, this page. And in this page, I want to read. I will read the uh, title to, I think, the title. And now. Uh, so right here on the profile and um, we actually need an indication right here too so before the raw content i think i need a i need an h1 tag Short tag right here, and I call this profile. Profile, and if I should refresh this page right here, I have the profile, but um, I, but I don't have the uh, the page title and the comrade change, so um, just going to fix that real quick. Need to fix that real quick and uh yeah each name back each name uh, so I'm just going to use those uh section right here so section um page And this will be um, profile. I think um, I think it was tied to tied to yeah. So I have the profile and I have the profile right here yeah so to actually display the message uh, we need to create a file right here uh, we need to create some partial files uh, what i mean by partial files uh, they are just files that uh, you distribute throughout pages like right? you can use them in a page and not use them in the other page so um, to avoid repetition of code just put them in a file and start using uh, using it so uh, hopefully that makes sense to you and i'll call this partials you can call it include you can call it whatever you want and uh, right here i'm just going to create a new blade file i'm going to create a new blade file and, uh, 
or call this uh, alert dot blade dot p hp so i've copied some html tag now paste it right here so let me just explain this tag um now user user controller now user controller we saying we're redirecting back to whatever page the user is coming from with the success message and the sources uh message is carrying a value of profile successfully updated so this is an array right here with a value and what this um this uh, method with actually does is it creates a section and in the section it stores this array with the value and uh, in this page we are now actually checking the section if the session has uh, a success uh, array as the key and uh, if it has it you should have put this block of code and if it has an error you should have put this block of code so hopefully that makes sense to you you can read more on laravel section um, yeah so uh in our uh, we have to go back to the admin uh, page right here um and at the top of our page content right here we need to include include the partial file so let's just include uh partials i think i get the i got that spelling correct and this will be a lot so hopefully uh yeah this should do the trick and if we should refresh right here and try to update our profile so we get the alert profile successfully updated and if we should we should bring out an error and this should give out an error to yeah error so um but i will leave it at the sources because our code uh was successfully uh, launched so i'll leave it as sources. so um in the next video we'll be actually doing the change of password right here and, uh, yes so bye for now see you in the next video